Hello guys and welcome to the new video of the advanced hands on Android exploitation by Atify. So I'm Aditya Gupta and I'm your course instructor for this particular course. So uh, I hope you have seen the previous six videos which I've made which covers everything from the start to how to get to this stage where you will be dealing with the Android application components. right? And also one of the recent initiatives which we have took is the discussion channel at irc.atify.com so if you have anything to say or if you like to discuss with the other guys or watch the video or into mobile security or any kind of security you can just come to irc.atify.com and you can sign up over there and you can even interact with me directly and maybe i'll be able to help you out if you're facing any of those queries or you can also send me an email at adi at atify.com right so in this video we'll be discussing about the very basics of the Android application components which is very much needed if you are moving to the Android application auditing or Android pen testing right so we have got a couple of components over here which are like the core components of an Android application so you've got activities and then you have services you have broadcast receivers, shared preferences, intents, and content providers, right? So there's no need to worry if you don't know any of these. It's completely fine. So we'll be just discussing about each of them in a like very short, right? So because if you want to go much in depth into all of these, it will become like more of a development kind of video. Like if you're into Android development, you might actually know all of these. Uh, but if you're into security, uh, you should at least have a basic idea of each of them, right? So the first is activities. So activities are like visual screens of an Android application. So any screen that you interacted with in an Android application, which has like an image or a text box or a button, whichever you can interact with. So those are the activities of an Android application. Now an Android application can have one activity or can have more than one activity if it is a nice application, right? So let's say I have Jenny Motion running over here, which is the virtual device for Android, which we have already set up in the previous videos, right? So we've got Jenny Motion running over here. So let's say I open any of these application. Um, let's say we open up box. So let's say this is the box application or this is in fact the box application. So currently I have a passcode screen, right? So this is one of the activities. Okay, so I've been logged out. So now I'm into this particular screen. So this is also one of the activities. And let's say if I click on log login, it will take me to another screen, right? the same for the other applications also let's say this is the catch application so this is one of the screens and I have got nice buttons over here with which I can click and then go to the other screen right so this is another activity so this is how activities work in Android so uh, there are security issues with activities which we'll be seeing later on right so let's get back to the presentation and then you have something called as an activity manager, right? So activity manager is one of the utilities with which you can directly interact or directly invoke any particular application or any particular specified activity of it and also pass data along with launching, right? So in the box uh, application, you just now saw that it was asking me for a passcode, right? So what if I can directly launch another activity which was supposed to come after the passcode activity, right? So that would have been a security issue because I have in some way bypassed the passcode functionality of the box application, right? So for this case, let's take the example of the catch notes application and let's see if we can directly invoke it, right? So for this, we'll need to see what activity we want to invoke from the command line. And then we will simply do am start package name or am start hyphen and package name and then the activity name, right? So I've got 
uh, Santico VM which is a virtual pen testing lab environment for us so just a second I'll quickly restart the Santico VM machine yep so I've got uh, Santico up and running over here so I'll just go to the terminal and I'll connect to my Motion instance which is at 192.168.56.101 right, so I'll simply type in ADB connect 192.168.56.101 right then I do ADB devices <coughs> so I have the Motion device over here right so now what we are going to do is we are going to start the catch notes application and the main screen of that application right for this we need to know what is the name of the activity for that application right so uh, I have the cash rod APK over here or uh, let's simply pull out the cash rod APK and then try to decompile and analyze the Android manifest.xml so I go to slash data slash app and I have a com dot three banana dot notes so this is the catch notes application which we are going to pull right we simply do adp pull slash data slash app slash the app name dot apk and the local file which i want to store it as right so i've got the cache dot apk over here now right so I simply do an apk tool d cache dot apk to decompile it and to read the android manifest.xml right so i go to catch now and i open up the android manifest.xml i look for the launcher over here right so I look for launcher because that will tell me what's the home screen of this particular application so in this case i've got a launcher which is the home screen or the home activity of this application so i go up to the activity tag and i look for something called as android colon name right so i've got the android colon name over here and it specifies dot nodes right so dot nodes is the home activity or the main activity of this of this application right so now we can simply invoke <clears throat> the catch notes using aim, st aim start hyphen in the package name slash dot notes because that's the activity name. So we do aim or adb shell aim start hyphen in the package name three banana dot notes and then the activity name right. So let's just All right. So currently I don't have anything open over here. Now let's try to run this. So I get the catch notes application open up. Right. So in this way you can start up any application or any particular activity of that particular application. Right. So that's all for this video. In the upcoming videos, we'll have a look at the other Android application components like services, broadcast receivers, shared preferences, intents, and content providers. Right? So, uh, do send me a mail or ping me at irc.atify.com if you have any doubts or queries or any kind of suggestions for the upcoming videos. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot.